The world outside is our inspiration. Hi, I'm Julie Faith Ann Balzer, your host for Make It Artsy, and we begin with this adorable stuffed toy. So we're actually gonna be screen printing. I love screen printing. It's a really fun way to make a design on a basically fabric, paper, wood, anything you want. So the first thing is you wanna start with photosensitive film. It's in this silver bag because we don't wanna expose it to light. So this comes in some big 10 by 12 sheets. I, however, am going to take out a piece here and I'm just gonna cut off a little piece because I'm making a small screen, but really you can make it whatever size works for you. Then we are going to create our screen printing sandwich. And what that consists of is you wanna put the screen, the photosensitive screen material on the bottom with the shiny side down and the rough side up. Then you can take, this happens to be a drawing, but you could also take a um, something you printed out. It just has to be on a transparency. The next step is you wanna take this clear cover to put it over, and this is a UV light. So I am going to turn it on, and then I'm gonna set my timer for 35 seconds, and that is gonna basically create our screen. So while that's cooking, let's take a peek at the project that we're actually making today. So it's this super cute stuffed pig. And now this is actually a two layered screen print. And you can see I have two screens here. Now I have to tell you, um, these aren't screens, transparencies rather. These are the original drawings. This was clip art that I found. And then I wanted to create the inside of the pig. And I put these triangles on it because if you line up the triangles, you'll see that the black part, right, fits inside the other part. Now these screens actually got a little bit wet. So you wouldn't want to use them again because that would mean that all of those black marks would transfer onto your screen. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. And now it doesn't look like anything happened, but don't worry, it did. The next thing you want to do is you want to give your screen a bath to wash off all the emulsion. So you take the clipboard and you just clip your screen in, again, the rough side up, okay? Now I have a tub of hot water. Normally you'd wanna do this under warm running water, but we figured that this would be fine. The other thing is if you don't have running water, I'm using just a nail brush here, but you could use a paintbrush, just something that's gonna help you, but still not too rough, still gentle. Can you actually see that the design is starting to come up just after being dropped into the warm water? And now if I scrub at it gently, I'm just using a circular motion here. You'll see, let's see if I pull that out, if you can see a little better, that the vague beginnings of it are coming out. You'll know that the screen is clean when it's completely transparent in those burned areas, okay? So the answer to how do you know it's done is basically when you have scrubbed it and you've washed it, you can also use your fingers to really get in there. See how it's starting to turn white? And of course at home, I'm running it under a faucet or if you have like a sprayer in your kitchen sink, that's great. But see how it's turning white here? Eventually when you keep scrubbing, it is gonna look like this. Meaning completely transparent, you can see my finger behind it. And you can see all this beautiful detail, even all of these little dots. Now you do wanna let this dry after you take it out of the bath and then you're gonna put it back into the UV light for one minute. That's just to make sure that it's absolutely transferred, it's nice and done and everything is perfect for you, okay? And you do put it there without anything else. So if I were to take this out and it were dry, I would put it down just like this with nothing else over it, near it, or anything like that for one minute. Then you are ready to use your screen. So let's get to the fun part of using our screens. Like I said, I started with a piece of clip art and this is a two layer print. So the first step is I am gonna be working on a piece of white fabric. It happens to have a little bit of a pattern on it, but it doesn't have to. Now these um, screens do have a little bit of light adhesive. That will stick to paper, but not to fabric. So because of that, when I place this down onto my fabric, I am also going to just take some tape and throw it on there to make sure that this stays down while I'm printing. Now you can use any water-based ink or paint to do this. I think the thicker the better. I'm using a heavy bodied acrylic paint. And then basically what you wanna do is you wanna scrape. 
and you just scrape through the screen and you can see how it floods through there. You wanna make sure to get your registration marks there and you can scrape any excess paint off as well. And just like that, the magical part is when we pull this up, check out how crisp and beautiful that print is. And that's one of the really exciting things about screen printing. Now, if you want to be able to reuse this screen, which I do, you wanna make sure that you put it into water pretty quickly. So if you're working at home, one of the things I do is I do have a tub like the one that you see here, and then you can just dump it right in there and you can clean it later at your leisure because you know that it's gonna to be totally fine and the paint's not gonna you know, dry in there and essentially ruin the screen. Because once that paint dries, you can't use the screen anymore. So before I go on to the next layer, I would let this dry but I have one which is already dry. You can see it right here. And you can see those registration marks. So now when I pull up my next screen, which again has an adhesive on the back, I'm gonna do the same thing, except this time I'm looking for those triangles. And once I find the triangles, I can see them right through the screen. There's one, there's the other. Then I'm ready to just put on my tape just like so. Make sure that this is held down and just staying in place. You do want to clean off your scraper so that you're not contaminating it with the different color. And then you're gonna go ahead, grab that paint and scrape it on through. This really is easy and it's a great way to make multiples. So if you wanted to make like a bunch of stuffed toys for a bunch of kids, for a sale, for a charity, for anything like that, you absolutely could and super fast because you could print a ton of fabric or paper or whatever else this way. And when we pull off the screen, I love it. Look at that and look how beautifully it lines up because of the reg registration. Now don't forget to put your screen into water if you wanna use it again so that it doesn't have any paint dry in there. So we would again let this dry because we're about to go sew it together. So I have one which is already dry right here and you can see how great it looks. So I also have just a pretty piece of fabric and what we're gonna do is we're gonna put these two pieces faced together. Does that make sense? So you're gonna put the right sides together. Once the right sides are together, you're gonna to take a couple pins just to hold it all in place, okay? And pin them all around like so. And then we are ready to head over to the sewing machine. So at your sewing machine, all you really need is a straight stitch. So we're just gonna go ahead and slip this under here. I can see the outline of where I have screen printed right on the pig, right through the fabric. I'm gonna stitch quarter inch, half an inch, just a little ways away and head around this outline. Now you don't have to be close to it or worry about that in any way, shape or form. You're just gonna keep going around until you get just around the whole thing. Now be sure to leave an opening at the bottom. That's really, really important because we're gonna have to turn this. Now once I've stitched around this whole thing and I have one which I've already done, what you're gonna do is you're going to trim around all that excess fabric. Again, this is not like a careful project and you're actually gonna be cutting off the registration marks, which is why they were placed where they were. So here you go. And then we're gonna turn it, which is why we left an opening. And turning always feels like, is this gonna work out? Is it not? But I promise you, it will. You just have to push it through the hole. And sometimes you might wanna use a skewer or something to help you. And the bigger the opening you leave, obviously the easier it is to turn. So here we go, I've almost got it. We're gonna just push it through and ta-da! So you can see my flying pig here is coming on through. There's the tail and here's our little face. And now all I would do is go ahead and stuff it with some kind of stuffing and you would have this absolutely adorable toy that I think a grown-up or a child would love to have.